Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Elkon here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to find all 15 of the golden jellyfish nets in all of their locations. So if you guys do want to enjoy this video, then make sure to smash the like button and click that subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get on into it. So the first area that we're going to get right into is area four. So once you teleport to area four, you're going to take a left right from the jellyfish field sign, and you're going to see one right behind this tree. Now that we got the first one, we're actually going to go straight and you're actually going to see one right under the SpongeBob statue. The next one right from SpongeBob statue, you're actually going to take a left and you're going to see one on the outskirts of the area. Jump up here, jump up here and boom, there it is. The next one is actually going to be right in front of Squidward right here and there you go. And then the next one is actually going to be up here, jump up here, jump up here and then right here on top of the coral, you're going to see another one. The next one we're going to get is actually on this parkour right behind Squidward. So we're going to jump up here and then hit this trampoline, jump up here and then we're going to see this one right here on the actual trampoline and then boom there we go so that's actually all the golden jellyfish nets for area four let's head on into area five the first one we're going to get into is right on this parkour that leads right up to the spongebob statue just going to hit all of these trampolines until you get up to the tippy top. You're actually going to see one inside of the SpongeBob statue's fishing net. Claim that one. And then the next one we're going to get right into is actually on the outskirts like the other one, but it's right on over here behind the imagination sign. So jump up here and then boom, there you go. Now that we're right here, let's actually just jump right up here. And there's going to be one right on the other side of the danger cliff sign. Walk through and you get the other one. And that's all the nets for area five. Let's get into area six. So the first one, as soon as you enter area six, is going to be right to your right. Boom, there we go. Now the next one we're going to get into, you actually got to head back to area five. Now, if you saw this little parkour section, you couldn't actually finish it because you needed area six unlocked. So you're just going to jump up here, do these little parkour, jump on the coral, jump up here to the trampoline, hop on up here, hit these two trampolines, and then it's going to take you clear to the top and boom here's one now when you're up here you can actually just drop down and here's going to be another one and then what we can actually do is head straight on top of this piece of coral and then here will be another one now the last and final two that we need we're actually going to hop back up here on this platform so just go like here and then head on over to the little building so there's actually going to be one right on top of the building and then the last and final one is going to be behind the building and boom there we go we completed it success you have collected all the secrets needed find the secret area to claim the reward so we have all 15 now so it says the secret area is actually going to open up in the jellyfish fields area so i'm pretty sure we can just actually go over here to squidward and boom there is the secret entrance let's go ahead and see what's inside let's see we're heading down to the final part of the secret area wow this is actually a lot further than the first one so wow okay so we go to the end then we go down here and there's a little crystal here so a little crystal boost and then an egg at the end that costs 3,000 gems and you can actually open it so let's go ahead and open a couple and see what we get okay we got mr crabs right off the start let's go and open up two more since we have 9,000 gems we got another mr crabs open up one more time and we got a patar <laughs> we got a patrick caveman version and let's go ahead and look at what the damage does so the so the caveman patrick does 16,602 damage and then two mr crabs do 4,069 so they were actually the easiest ones to get out of this egg but this is the secret jellyfish clam so boom there you go and that's how you get it so i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully you found it helpful if you guys have any questions regarding this video or spongebob simulator in general then let me know in the comment section down below but without further ado this is the end of the video so make sure to smash the like button to show me that you enjoyed it click that big red subscribe button to support the channel and click the notification bell to never miss an upload. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.